topic and start out. Mm. Oh, name is Sekou Brathwaite. I'm a high school educator in the Taft Educational Complex uh, on the issue of police contact with students in schools. It's pretty much an everyday occurrence for uh, impact schools, so, you know, they have scanners. We actually have police officers who sit in lunch, basically during the lunch period, in a little section. Uh, anytime there's uh, some type of altercation or fight, you know, it might result where something before might have just been a school suspension or, you know, you go to the administration, uh, young people are getting written up, getting summonses, having to go to court behind, you know, regular school incidents. There was one just this past uh, Thursday uh, where there was actually a group of students and a number of them received summonses where they were going to have to go to court behind incidents. There were no weapons or anything of that nature involved. Uh, you know, some of the students actually got pretty, one of them got slammed pretty hard by one of the, uh, I'm not sure if he was a cop or just a school safety agent, but they kind of work in tandem uh, pretty hard by one of them, like on his shoulder. And this is kind of a common occurrence, like the police are there every day. Uh, I can think of another incident a couple of months back where something happened basically in a staircase uh, where uh, one student was being attacked by, by three other students from a different school and another one tried to step in not even so much to fight the other kids, but to kind of help him. And in the event, he's a kind of larger student. He knocked down one of the school safety officers and, you know, he apologized then. It was a complete accident. The school safety officer didn't seem upset. But he's been going to court over that incident for like the past two and a half months. And this is, you know, a young person who had no real prior record, you know, contact with police other than maybe being stopped. He's not a street kid. And, you know, he's missing school and repeatedly having to go to court or something that, you know, was, was clearly an accident. And, you know, it seems like they're really trying to get him into the whole cycle in the penal system. So it's just kind of a very disturbing trend with having the, you know, the NYPD basically running school safety. It's causing a lot of uh, unnecessary and negative contacts between students and police at an early age that kind of later leads into that school or prison pipeline. Are there any benefits? I mean, some, some people may I ask about whether there's any safety benefits to having in there. Is there, a, or, um, do, you, or do you feel that there are any benefits, uh, or the bad outweighs the good? Well, I think that the, the bad, like, definitely outweighs the good. I think there are more effective ways, probably, to, to deal with school safety policies. I mean, if you look at the stats and the numbers, it's shown that the, the schools that basically have these these. Uh, you know, the, the scanners and the police in schools have more incidents. So it's not stopping kids from getting in fights. It, you know, it's not stopping any of these things from happening. I mean, if you talk to any student, most of them will tell you they feel like prisoners. They feel like criminals. And in a lot of cases, that's how they're treated, and that kind of leads to those issues. I think a lot of, you know, what needs to be done kind of has to happen at the student level, the school level, the administration level, and, you know, how you're dealing with the kids. And when you treat them like criminals, then you know you, you're more likely to have those type of incidents. And then there's also the aspect that in some cases you have teachers where things they might have dealt with themselves before. Now if they have a kid who doesn't want to listen, who doesn't think, they're calling school safety. Like why are you calling, uh, you know, school safety agent or a police officer because the kid doesn't want to listen to you? That's that's excessive, I think, and, and unnecessary. But you know those type of things happen when you have them in there, and then you know you have not come up with ways to effectively. Uh, instruct or encourage and show teachers like how to discipline children or how to get the things you want. So rather than ever learn how to do that, they just rely on school safety.